Hey everyone, I'm the Exile Tai, and I am here to complain about how Laszlo is not being used enough. Seriously? He's such good support, and he's awesome, and I don't see him being used enough. Look at this chart from GamePress. Yes, I know that some people don't agree with GamePress's tier list, but it's enough to prompt this video. Laszlo is in tier 2, along with Altina and Young Sheeta, and that one guy who cosplayed as the Black Knight because he's a really big fan. Those characters are amazing, and Lazo is right up there. So why don't I see more of him? Folks, normally I try hard to cover my biases for characters in my videos, but for Lazlo, I'm willing to bend my values. I am here today to tell you why you should use Lazlo. Here is the table of contents for your viewing pleasure. I'll be doing an overview of Lazlo, highlight the part of him that makes him super duper awesome, talk about the pros and cons, bring up some allies that Lazlo could definitely flirt with, and showcase some builds. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and leave a like, because then Lazlo will invite you to tea. Actually no, he's gonna invite me, but you should still subscribe. Now then, let's get started. Shall we dance? Lazlo, the Dancing Duelist, is a sword infantry unit. Looking to the left there, you'll see that he has Noontime, which is... whatever. Axebreaker is... well, it's actually pretty nice since we do have a lot of strong axe users. Hone Speed 3 is whatever, and it's also unlocked at 5 stars, which is lame as hell. Laszlo is summonable at 3 and 4 stars, so it's rather easy to get him to plus 10. Plus 0 Laszlo is good enough for his support abilities, but if you want him to truly shine, plus 10 is way more recommended. Thus, I will only be showcasing his stats at plus 10 and with and without Dragon Flowers. Laszlo has 49 HP, which is very nice. We love to see some strong bulk. 40 attack is great for his gimmick. 31 speed is not bad, but not good. It's workable, we can make something out of that. 34 defense is fantastic, and 26 res sucks. Though, depending on your build, you can make that res work, and he can be a solid support tank. He already has stellar HP, so his physical and magic bulk is already pretty good and can be better. But that's not what matters here. We are here to talk about that refine. Laszlo went from being a silver sword loser to a Laszlo's blade legend. Holy moly did this refine chain things up for Laszlo. It has two main effects, one that made him into an amazing support unit and the other gave him powerful damage potential. The first effect of Laszlo's blade is similar to Link's skills and is sort of the opposite of the Sabertooth Fang from Mordecai. If any move and assist skill is used by or on Laszlo, then allies within two spaces of Laszlo and the other unit will receive plus four visible buff to all stats. This includes the other hero and excludes Laszlo. That is a total of plus 16 stat buffs. This is tremendous. It covers so much ground and there are so many units slash skills who benefit so much from the support effect. Blade Tomes, Brave Aphrom, Bridal Duel, Micaiah, and Soth, and a personal favorite of mine, Rebecca. Maybe I should do a Rebecca video later. Hmm. Anyways, any movement assist skill works. Reposition, swap, smite, and speaking of smite, you can, in fact, just smite Laszlo into the middle of all the enemies and not worry too much because of the other effect on Laszlo's blade. When there are two allies within range of Laszlo and their stat bonus total is greater than or equal to 10, Lazo gets an in-combat buff of plus 3 attack and defense, and he gets a brave effect. Think of it like Altina's Ragnell alone die combo, or Sword Reinhardt's sword, or I don't know, Hector. The dude's got so many refines and effects, there's gotta be one of them has the brave effect or something. Oh man, I keep forgetting to mute my phone when I record. Hello? Who's? Huh? Intelligence sit- Oh, oh! Okay. Wait, really? What? Okay, I promise I won't tell anyone about this. Yeah, you heard, you got that. Yeah, that's, yeah. All right, thank you. See ya. Okay. So I don't know how Intelligent Systems got my phone number, but I have been informed that none of the Hectors have a brave effect yet. That's right, folks. I got the insider scoop. They told me they're so happy with Hector so much that he's getting another alt. He's gonna get our mods, 
but it's not going to be like Berserk Armads or Thunder Armads. It's not going to be the Candy Magic or Ice Armads. It's going to be Armads 2, the Mad Lads. They want to steal everything from our wallets. Oh my god, this is amazing. <clears throat> you didn't hear that from me though. Yeah, so jokes aside, the effect is really strong. At plus 10, he has 40 base attack, add on Lazo's Blade and the plus 3 from the Refine, and he's hitting twice with 59 attack. Even if your defense is, say, a strong 34, right? That's still 25 damage times 2. Now, you might say that the effect is a little too strong. There has to be a downside, right? Maybe with the range? But no. Our Holy Naga took pity on Laszlo, or maybe there was an Intelligence Systems employee that really liked Laszlo, there's not really a difference between the two. And they decided to give him 3 spaces for the range. Let me give you a visual example. To the left, my plus 10, 10 Dragonflower cannons with tons of premium skills, a video for another day, is smiting Laszlo and all of the green spaces are where the plus 4 stat buffs will be distributed. Very good range. On the right side, the red squares are how far allies can be for Lazo to get the Brave Refine effect. Most units don't get this incredible treatment, so psst, Lazo fans, we can't ruin this, alright? That aside, this is the end of the overview. That Refine is what makes Lazo super duper awesome and stuff, so yeah. Let's look at the pros and cons of the skill. On the pro side, it has an incredible range, both for supporting his allies and for strengthening him himself. The bonuses he gives is phenomenal for a lot of units like Blade Tome users and the entire refine synergizes incredibly. There's a spider on my- There's a spider? A spider was coming down my monitor, what the heck? Where was I at? I messed up by the spider. Remember, Laszlo needs 2 allies to have a total of 10 or more visible buffs and Laszlo gives plus 16. It's not hard to achieve and that's appealing to basically everyone. Another thing is that his attack twice effect isn't like the Brave Sword where he has to initiate combat, but rather it's similar to Altina where she can attack twice regardless of phase. This means you can build Lazo with a player phase of mine or go with an enemy phase build. Very flexible. One last thing, because the requirements only need movement assist skill to be used by or on Lazo, you can run some diverse sets with your allies to capitalize on it, like using Link or Snag skills. On the con side, the buffs he gives is a visible buff, so it is susceptible to panic, which can ruin everything for Laszlo. Like, say the foe attacks Laszlo with panic smoke, and he lives, but his nearby allies who are supporting him with their buffs now have penalties. The next foe to attack doesn't have to worry about his refine anymore, and that's dangerous. Another thing about Laszlo is his muddling speed. It's not super low, but it's not high enough to do much against speed-based damage reduction users. Thankfully, he does have a lot of bulk to take their hits, but that's still a concern and unfortunately, it's not something his refine can really fix. You can go for the speed stat boost refine, but then you do give up the attack twice effect and I don't think it's worth it unless you're in an arena and you want a higher stat total. But you came here to hear about why you should use Lazo, so let's refute some of the stuff. For Panic, that is an issue, but it's nothing a good Restore can't fix, or perhaps you can use someone with Unity that can turn things around. Not to mention, Panic Smoke and Panic Manor in Aether Rays can be worked around with Lazo's 3 range. With that range, you can have your allies on the other side of the map, and Lazo can still work. For the speed, it's going to be a little bit difficult with just 31 speed. But he can boost it up with Dragonflowers, Summoner Support, Ally Support, and some kind of speed link so we can also get some visible buffs. If you go for an enemy phase build and use up your A and B slots, well that C and seal slot is still open for joint drive speed or speed wave or darting blow slash stance. There's a lot you can do with Lazo speed so it can have more favorable matchups against fast heroes. Really quickly, let's mention some allies for Lazlo. Blade Tomb units and all other units that benefit from having a visible bonus work very well with Lazlo. We're talking units like Rebecca and Brave Ephraim, whose special effects activate with a bonus. We're talking about Erica and Bonus Doubler, who get super powerful when they get a lot of buffs. And we're talking about other support units who can receive the buffs and stay near Lazlo to provide dry buffs or healing. You should also consider a fast or just strong green or colorless unit, just in case there's a blue unit that Lazlo can't handle. If possible, use Fallen Adegard. 
Due to the large range of Lazo's blade, he can give her buffs for her attack defense ideal while maintaining social distancing as to not interfere with the beast's transformation or armored stride, and that's super helpful. Alright, here are some builds for Lazlo. All of them are going to rotate between stats at plus 10, then max Dragonflower, and then Wolf Summoner support, just to give you a good idea of what Lazlo will look like. The Disencounter set is the one that I actually use, and I can't confirm that it works. Most of the time, I can just let Lazlo buff someone, throw him into the enemy range, and I can expect good results. This encounter plus Vantage plus Fear Stance works out very well, Defense Smoke helps him take out the foes easier, and everything tends to work out fine in the end. The middle build is something that a Lazlo on my friends list had. He can shove his allies and play solo just fine thanks to having a huge range for his refine. Link is not necessary here, but in general, Link's skills can help out as Lazo doesn't receive his own buffs. And as mentioned before, Lazo has great HP, so he can run Infantry Pulse or Panic Ploy. For the right build, Lazo can already deal tons of damage, so what's going to ruin him is if someone tries to debuff him. Thankfully, Attack Defense Unity is there to turn things around. Chill skills work well on a support unit, and Joint Drive Attack is the perfect support slash offense skill for someone like Laszlo. And Brazen is there, just to show that he can run Brazen. This next set is kinda out there I guess. The far left tries to improve his bulk. With Fortress Defense Res, Lull, and Bracing Stance, it's gonna be difficult to take down this Laszlo even with magical attacks. Though his speed could hinder him. Which brings us to the middle set. This set focuses a lot on speed. I like the idea of breath skills on Lazo because if he goes in for the enemy phase and takes one hit, then he's ready to hit back hard. He can proc his special and then do his second hit. And if you went with a 3 cooldown special, that just means he'll proc his special on the second hit. The damage is still going to be really good. Odd Tempest is an odd choice, but I think it can work well. It makes it easier for him to jump in front of his allies and shove them back, or it can help him reach further in order to support more allies. And the final set is a player phase set because I have not done a player phase set yet. This set doesn't run a movement assist, so you could use it in Arena with a dual rally plus. But the biggest thing is that Lazo probably shouldn't be using a movement assist if he's going player phase. You would want someone else to use the movement assist on him and then have him jump in with sturdy impact or death blow 4. Before I end this build section, I do want to mention some skills that I didn't put in but can work with Laszlo. That being Boost and Sudden Panic because of Laszlo's high HP, and Form because Laszlo tends to be near his allies. Besides, shouldn't the Dancer have good form? I hope you have been enlightened and will now build Laszlo. Let's think about this, right? Laszlo's Blade makes him an incredible support unit and offensive unit Combined with the stats, you have so many different builds. Plus, he's called a duelist. If someone came up to me and introduced themselves as a duelist, whether that's like a sword duelist or a Yu-Gi-Oh duelist, my pants are already off. But that's that. Subscribe, leave a like, and follow me on Twitter. Let's talk about some behind the scenes. This video project started in January of this year, I believe. It was going to be a, a how to build Lazo video, but like, there's not much to do with them, you know? Like, this refine was what mattered, and then after I made that Brave Lucina video, which primarily focused on her refine, I decided to do that for Lazlo too. I was planning on showcasing some video footage of my own Lazlo, I was pretty excited too, because he was actually my first ever plus 10 units, but I don't have a good way to record footage. Like, my phone gets pretty laggy when recording, and I don't know how to work Memu or Bluestack, so yeah. If you know, drop a comment please. But with all that, stay hydrated folks, and see you later.